Hi everybody, Clock TV here, and welcome to another video. But this one is a rather special one, because I'm sure you guys are probably thinking, is this a Winding Clock series video? Well, let's first look at the date and time. November 5th. That date seems familiar. Oh yeah, it's that day guys. It's daylight savings time yet again. And I got to turn these clocks back. And this is the first time I'm doing this in this new shop. Because the spring of 2022, I was still at my old place. But this is going to be the first time doing this at the new shop. And I'm going to have a lot of stuff to cover. But we're turning the clocks back because it's the fall of 2022. And so, yeah. I don't have much more to say to this other than we should probably get right into this because this is probably going to be a very long video because I have to go over pretty much every single clock that's currently running. Ooh, this is going to be quite the chore. But with that said, let's go ahead and get right into this. So as per usual, I'm going to start over here by the entryway which consists of the two grandfather clocks and the giant black shelf with some of the smaller mantle clocks that I have. So let's go ahead and get started with that. And the first one is going to be Colonial. So let's get right into that. And because it's just after 11, this will be pretty easy to do. Just like that. Now for its little sister, sibling, whatever you want to call it, Emperor. My two big ones are done. Now for the tall black shelf which, as stated earlier, has some of my smaller mantle clocks. Starting on top, we will go ahead and do my uh, Seth Thomas Timber mantle clock. It is 06. There we go. Moving down. This is pretty much the only one I can do. A little ahead but no big deal and this one's running I'm gonna see if I can just there we go I can do that one simple as that moving down let's do this one a little too far there we go let's see if I can reach back here and do oops wrong one There we go. All right, get this guy back here. It's a tight squeeze, but. And there we go. Now I'll take this one out. And there we go. All right, that shelf's done. Let's move down. And actually, I'm gonna take these off and make individual clips of them. Here is my West Clocks alarm clock, which is really finicky to hold, but we're gonna see if we can turn it back. It is hard doing this with one hand, but I can get through it. Yeah, there we go, we got that one. I'm gonna go ahead and do this little pendulum clock that I have. Should be easy enough, depending on if I can, there it is.
there we go. That one is done. Now we're gonna do this little antique West Clocks clock. There's no stand on it right now because I took it off its shelf, but let's see if we can get this anyways. There we go, that worked out perfectly. Now that I just cleared off the black shelf, I didn't get every one, some of them are missing batteries, but we're now going to move over to this shelf. Got a bunch of little other clocks and these three wind-up ones. And Colonial's going off, please excuse that. We're gonna do this cottage clock first. And since this one is time only, this one is simple enough. I can pretty much just do that and be on my way. Now, as for Ingram, unfortunately, I am just going to have to stop the pendulum for one hour. Because, obviously, I can't turn this back. So, I will change that back up later. Rocks Hall, simple enough because it's time only. I can just do that, and there we go. So there, we got these three wind-up ones. And while I'm at it, I'm gonna go ahead and do my Zodiac Art wall clock, which should be easy enough. Instead, I'm just going to wait for that, and there we go. That is done. Now I'll come down to these few ones right here. Bunch of smaller battery operated desk clocks, you could say, along with alarm clocks. We'll start off with this Jenison radio clock. This one is sort of finicky, at least the hour button. See, it's kind of glitchy. I have to press it a certain way in order to I have to press it more on the left side in order for it to work. I don't know why it's doing this, but... Well, it, I just put it eight minutes ahead, but I'll have to fix that later. Well, technically, I could just simply do it right now, but that might hog up time a little bit. Looks right to me. Now let's go ahead and uh, do these two. Or well, actually not that one because that one is dead. There we go. Now for my uh, Washington DC clock. This is one of my, I mean, it's a pretty nice one. Not one of my favorites, but very well designed. This one is a head slightly. Let's fix that. There we go, got those three shelves. Let's come down here and do these right here. I have to be kind of gentle with this one because All right, that one was pretty easy. Let's do this one. And there we go, there's that. Now we're gonna go ahead and come over to my cuckoo clocks. I've got them all running this evening, so let's go. We're gonna first start with this one, but unfortunately, because I can't turn it back, I'm just going to stop the pendulum for the time being. I will fix it an hour later. This one I don't have running. We can do this one though. The one thing I'll do this time is I'm going to silence it and just turn it. a much quicker way. And now I'll turn it back on, and there we go. Now I'll do this one. I, of course, have to stop the pendulum for this one, so I will fix that later. We'll come to this one. 
I can simply just turn that back. And then we come down to this little fella, and in which you cannot move the hour hands, so I'm just gonna have to stop that. But there we go, there goes most of my cuckoo clocks. Now we'll do this section, which consists of five battery operated wall clocks, and I'm also gonna do the Friends Hermley Bim Bim clock. So let's go. I am first going to start off with the Friends Hermley Bim Bim clock. So let's do just that. All right, we got that one. And since this one doesn't have a cover on it, I'm going to go ahead and simply turn this one back. This one brings a lot of nostalgia to me because I've had this one since I was very little. Oh, and you know what? I may as well do this one for the heck of it. I may as well go over these ones that don't have glass covers. We can also do this one. All right. Managed to get a little extra there, but let's continue. I'm going to go ahead and do this one. I took the pendulum off of it, obviously, but it's very dusty. I need to fix that, but let's turn this thing back. And there we go. There's that one. I decided to take this big guy off the wall and I'm going to go ahead and change it. As I said, I want to get as many as possible, but I'm going to have to do this. And just like that, it is good to go. Now we're gonna do these three bigger Howard Miller wall clocks. So let's go. Let's first start off with the Howard Miller Sandringham. To make it a little easier, I'm just going to go ahead and stop the pendulum. It's a bit of a quicker process, I'd say. Well, probably, if I did it either way, it would be exactly the same probably, but I just decided to be on the safe side and stop the pendulum. I'm going to do the same for these other ones, just to be on the safer side. Better safe than sorry, am I right? All right, I had to come over to the other side because Jenison was a little too far away. But here we are, and I am going to stop the pendulum. That will be fixed in an hour. So there, I got those three big guys. Now let's move on. Now let's go ahead and get into this wall. Some of these, however, currently have dead batteries in them, but I can go ahead and change this one. And just like that, that one is done. We'll go ahead and do this one since I just took it off the wall. So let's get right into it. It is 38 and there we go. That one is done. We'll go ahead and do this one since it doesn't have a glass cover on it. Here we go. There we go, that one's done. Now let's come over to this wall, which is getting pretty crowded now. It's going to be quite a bit to do, but let's go tackle it. Let's first do this Howard Miller battery operated clock. There we go. Let's come up here and do this one. Unfortunately, I'm just going to have to stop the pendulum because I cannot turn this one back. I will fix that in one hour. There we go. And now for Howard Miller 613226. To be on the safe side, I'm just gonna go ahead and stop this clock. So I will fix that a little later. And Cassell is actually safe to turn back. So I'm going to do just that. And there we go. 
We'll come up here and do this one now. Kind of hard to reach, but there we go. We got that one. We can come over here and do this one now. I can simply just do that. And there we go. That one's done. My antique Japanese regulator, I'm just gonna have to stop the pendulum. I cannot turn this one back because this is an antique. I will fix that later. I will go ahead and start over here now. Let's do the Beatles clock. I'm going to wait for the second hand to go by. There we go. I'm going to come over here and do Spoogel. Obviously, I'm gonna have to stop this one. I can't turn it back very far. There's that one. Now let's come over and do my uh, bigger mantle clocks that are wind up. We will start over here with my Howard Miller Joyce. The timing works out perfectly because I can simply just do this. Just like that. We come over to sessions, however, I'm going to have to stop the pendulum. I cannot turn this one back for obvious reasons. This one I will have to do, actually I might be able to do it right now. All right, I managed to get that one successfully. Here is the back of my Quartz Westminster Chime Mantle Clock. I believe it is actually safe to turn back. So I am gonna give it a try. And it sounds like the batteries are dead in the chiming mechanism. I'll have to fix that. But there, that one's turned back. So let's go move on now. We will go ahead and do, um, this is the other clock that I built sit with my mascot. This one is gonna be pretty easy because the clock face is actually removable. I can take it out. It's got a cover on it. And I can access it with ease. There we go. That one is all fixed. Now let's go ahead and do these five mechanical clocks. This does not include my HAC or Revere clock because those two currently do not work. But let's go ahead and start with my Howard Miller Graham bracket. There's 03. There we go. Now for Ridgeway. And now, Jock. It does run behind by a little bit, so I'm going to set it a couple minutes ahead. And here is Thomas Tompion. Now, we will come down and do my Howard Miller Worthington. And there we go, those are done. Here is the other cottage clock that I have. This one is easy enough since it is time only. I can simply just do that. And there we go. And while I'm at it, I will go ahead and do this little alarm clock. Just like that. I almost forgot to do this one, but let's go ahead and turn this one back since it's plugged in. All right, that was very brief, but I got that one. Here is my official mascot for the channel. I almost forgot to do it, but here we are. Let's go ahead and turn this one back. It's 
It's actually 11.07. And there we go. The official mascot is ready to go. I almost forgot to do this one, but let's do this Westland Quartz Octagon wall clock. Should be rather easy to do. And there we go. That one is done. All right, everyone. So I think I've gotten at least most of the clocks in my shop. There were actually a few that I missed, but it's for a reason. It is mostly these ones up here. They are too high for me to reach and I'm not tall enough to do so. And getting a step stool out is sort of risky considering how tight of a squeeze it is in those areas. I don't want to take the risk of potentially damaging anything in the shop or damaging or injuring myself in the process. So better safe than sorry. These ones, unfortunately, have to be left out of this season's video. I apologize if anyone was hoping for me to change these clocks, but I'm just doing what's best for my well-being. But other than that... Pretty much every clock in the shop has been changed to its rightful time, one hour back. And so that's pretty much going to wrap up this video. I really hope you all enjoyed watching this. I apologize in advance if my camera work was below average. A lot of these battery-operated clocks are really hard to change with one hand while I'm holding my camera. So as you may expect, I do encounter some camera work issues, but I am well on the way to fixing those, hopefully. But with all that said, I thank you all so much for watching this video. I put a lot of work into getting everything ready, and I appreciate you all taking the time to view this, and happy daylight savings time. And so with that said, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you all in the next video. So with that said, bye for now. I will fix that later. Then we have this Beatles clock. That'll be easy enough. I